I love a coffee edition. Oh, hello, Raleigh, and welcome to your backyard. I'm Robert Kortz, your host, lover of local, promoter of local, and all around just an awesome dude, really, just as cool as Raleigh is. But have I got a very special power of local coffee treat for you. Today, I've got Lindsay Ridge. Uh, Lindsay Ridge. Uh, hey, Lindsay, how are you doing today? I'm good. How are you guys? Um, pronounce your last name for me, Lindsay. I seem to have trouble with that. My name is Lindsay Reg. Reg, nice to meet you, Lindsay. You, uh, too. you are the creator of 321 Coffee. And as everyone in Raleigh knows, I love coffee. I'm fueled and I run on the power of local coffee. And I can name all the local coffee shops, but you have a very unique approach to it. Could you tell us a little bit about 321 Coffee? Absolutely. So 321 Coffee, we are a coffee shop that employs individuals with disabilities. So our mission is all about creating that inclusive workforce and that meaningful work to just show off all of the value that those individuals have to offer. Well, that is uh, an incredible opportunity that you've created there, um, uh, both to share and empower all around the magic of coffee. Um, uh, how did you come up with this idea? Can you give us the genesis a little bit? Absolutely. So my passion for this sort of dates back to when I was in elementary school. My first friends were three girls in the class that all had a different disability. And so just growing up with them, um, doing everything together from carpooling to dance, playing at recess, vacationing, they were just such a big part of my life and definitely shaped me for who I am. And so when we grew up, um, and high school graduation came around, I personally was just kind of overwhelmed with what was next, but that wasn't the same for my friends. Um, a lot of adults with disabilities really struggle to find employment and, you know, sometimes they do get a job, but then they're just stuck cleaning bathrooms, which is really disappointing. And so I wanted to create something that was not, was, had an opportunity for them to contribute, how to place in the community for people to come in and see someone with Down syndrome, with autism, with epilepsy, you know, taking their order at cash, the cash register, making their drink, chatting with them while they waited. And so that was sort of the passion behind starting this. Um, I actually started this organization my freshman year at NC State. We what? started, yeah, we started as a student organization, um, super bootstrapped, like renting tables from the student union using our dorm rooms as our storage. Um, and we've grown a lot since then. And so now we're vendors at the state farmer's market. We employ over 20 individuals with different wow. disabilities. Um, so I'm really proud of the progress and the impact that we've made throughout, throughout our existence. Well, Lindsay, you started this year freshman year uh, just three years ago. So not only have you been chasing your career and excelling at that, you've started a nonprofit in a business. How, how incredible. Uh, Thank you. Let me salute you. Um, Thank you. And that, friends, is the power of local. Thank you, Lindsay. Um, so uh, I know you've, you've geared into this. Uh, how has the COVID quarantine affected 321 Call? Yeah, so right before COVID, we were in the middle of a campaign to open a second location as a brick and mortar. So we were looking at downtown. We were, had raised money. We were negotiating um, with our broker and for a lease agreement. And it was so exciting. Literally, like, on Monday, we're ha submitting, like, a verbal LOI, and on Tuesday, COVID's in Raleigh, and everything is shut down, which was definitely a disappointment at the time. Um, but a great thing sort of came from that. We ended up expanding our space here at the farmer's market, and we're going to begin roasting our own beans. So I can flip this camera around, um, and you can see. So this is our shop. So this is what it used to just be. This wall extended all the way over and we were just a coffee shop. And now we've expanded, we have seating. Um, this counter is a little bit of a mess because we're actually just roasted our first batch of coffee. So right here's our roaster. Um, it's loaded up to begin roasting. And these are our first couple bags of, we're testing out different blends. So this has been a really great pivot for us. Um, we just hired new staff to be those roasters. You know, it's a very oh, different awesome. type of job than the barista, but it's going to let us work with different skills, different strengths, um, and it's going to let people engage with 321 in a different way. 
Lindsay, that's incredible. I love your expansion. I mean, you just seem Thank to you. be taking every opportunity you can and it just keeps going great. Um, so by roasting then, I, I can come by and get a cup and walk out with a bag or two. Is that kind of the plan? Yeah, so you can come to the shop, you can get your coffee. We'll sell our bags of beans in store that will be as locally roasted as you can get because it's roasted right here, here in shop. Um, and we're also going to start an e-commerce service. So we'll ship them out. You can subscribe and save. So get those bags recurring and save, um, I think, 10%. And so, yeah, just new ways to engage with 321. We can ship them anywhere in the U.S. We'll be supplying different offices, some different local restaurants. So we're super thrilled with just all of the new ways that people can support 321 just through buying coffee. Well, that's incredible. So right now, let me make sure you have one spot and it's where at the farmer's market? Yes. So we are located in the market shops at the state farmer's market, um, which is off of Lake Wheeler. Okay. That is awesome. And how would I sign up for the subscription service? Is that something I can do online? It is. Yeah. So you can just go to 321coffee.com and under our shop page, that will list all of our merchandise. So you can get some t-shirts, some hats, as well as... Um, bags of coffee i'm definitely going on as soon as we hang up and getting some merch um i love <laughs> my local coffee merch thank you there's a little bag cat but three two one coffee i can't wait i uh, hope you got a ball cap because i need a ball cap um, <laughs> what else uh can we say about three two one coffee that is not I'm just so impressed, Lindsay. You've done such a remarkable work there that I'm at a loss of work for the first time in, I think, my 50 interviews. And uh, you've touched my heart with this. So thank you for this. Um, well, thank you. It must just be an incredible experience for you just to go to work. It's so much fun. And I think what really stands out to me is the team that we have. So the team of directors, myself and um, the two others that work with me are Michael and Liam. So amazing. They're also both students and it always means so much to me that they they're so skilled they are so smart and they give so much of their time to this mission two three two one um it extends to our baristas our staff oh my gosh they never fail to put a smile on my face even when there's like a long day you know on the computer with meetings with emails you come here you see them and it just makes it all worth it so that's so special um it's mentors it's other businesses it's customers i think it really stands out to me is just the fun that happens here. And that is that is seen throughout all people who are involved with 321. Well, that's incredible. You're really touching so many lives. And really, you are the epitome of the power of local, making a unique shop, making a, a better environment for the community, increasing the local economy by working with others, and uh, being a nonprofit as well as supporting a nonprofit. Thank Lindsay, you. That's all four aspects of the power of local. So Jonathan and I salute you. We're very proud to have been able to interview you. Any last words before our time is up here? I would love to introduce you to Sam. He's currently on his lunch break. Let me see. Oh. Is that okay? Please, yes. Thank you. Okay. Hey, Sam. Can I, can I introduce you to these people who are interviewing us real quick? Oh. Can you put your mask back on because you just finished eating? That'd be great. Thank you. <laughs> the news loves Sam. <laughs> All right. So here we've got Sam. Here, put this in because this is, this is the microphone. You just have to hold this to you. So here we've got Sam. Hello, Sam. Yeah. Hello. How are you, sir? Good about you, sir. I'm doing great. I love your NC State mask. Back to pack. Yeah. Yes, sir. Um, yes, sir. Um, what do you do for three, two, one coffee, Sam? Oof. I, I would say I done a lot with three, two, one coffee. When I was a volunteer, I was one of the first. First volunteers before they started to be uh, doing the payroll. Mm -hmm. One of the and I'm one of the first baristas. That's nice. Um, what do you drink, coffee, Sam? Oh yes, sir. What's your favorite? 
Oh, I had a lot of fair friends. But my oh. my main coffee that I make is actually iced lattes. Ooh. Um, uh, well, uh, and say something really nice about 321 Coffee for our audience. Yes, sir. Um, okay. Well, 321 is a awesome one of a kind coffee shop for anyone to stop by to get the get three to one coffee. Well, that's awesome, Sam. I'm going to be by there this weekend then, and I'm going to keep an eye out for you and come by and say hello if you're cool with that. Yes, sir. But uh, the only days that I do work is on is actually on Fridays. Oh. But um, if you want to come out this weekend, you are more welcome to. But I'll be back next Friday. All right. Well, uh, I'm a consummate coffee drinker, so I will be there one Friday, and I'll extend my hand and say hello. So thank you for sharing some time with us, Sam. Yes, and sir, Thank uh, you. Keep up the good work at 321 Coffee. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Thanks, Sam. Lindsay? Yes. Raleigh, let me remind you that only in Raleigh, only in your backyard can you find 321 Coffee in Lindsay Reg, where she is not only serving a great cup of coffee, but she's also in creating an inclusive environment for every citizen of Raleigh. Lindsay, very proud of you. Thank you again. Let's wave Raleigh off. Raleigh, check out 321 Coffee. Go there today and look for me, look for Sam, and look for Lindsay. Thank you very much.